Yesterday. Oh. First he wrote maps. 
masks that are optimal. And I'm like, I think that's not what you mean. <laughs> Good morning. Oh, sorry. Good morning, Dana. Morning. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Great. Good. Happy Sunday. Woo. You as well. Um, so if you, I know you're not able to go outside for some of those. So for that run, speed walk or skip, just do a, if you can do like jump rope or some mountain climb or any sort of really high uh, intensity cardio for 60 seconds and then move through. Okay. Does that sound good? Oh, perfect. Perfect. Yep. yep. So it's a sprint. Um, it's, I put a quarter mile sprint, but um, see, we'll try to get that around 60 seconds there, Dana. Okay. You can do a 60 Same second here. quarter mile. Sure, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so make your way to your stations and we are going to get started on our warm up. I will talk to you about what this <clears throat> class is looking like as we go through right now. Make your way to your cardio piece of equipment and you are getting yourself in at an eight and 80. And we are on the clock <clears throat> in three, two, and go. Eight and 80. All right, so we're bringing up those legs nice and quick, getting that heart rate started, warming up our bodies. Get that heart rate started. I think it already should be. Taking it up by two in three, two, and bring it up. Hi, Angelica. In or out of the saddle at a 10 for 20 more seconds. If you did not see the post from Sean yesterday, uh, masks are optional. If you feel comfortable wearing those masks, please do not hesitate to keep it on. If you would like to take it off, here's your chance. All right, we have got up by two in three, two, one, bring it up. Coming up to that 12 and out of the saddle. Three AMRAPs for you today, three Tabatas. The goal of those AMRAPs is to get about three to four rounds. If you can get more, I will be very excited for you. We're taking it up to an 18 right now in three, two, one. Taking it up to that 18 on those echoes and rowers. Drive those legs, pump those arms. Big pull on that rower, Angela. 20 more seconds and we'll take it up on the hill a little bit higher. All right, bringing it up to a 25 in three, two, one, turn it up. Good, push those feet, drive those legs down. Keep that core engaged. Taking it up to a 30 for the next 30 seconds in three, two, one, off to a 30. Good. Can you add a little bit of speed to that leg drive? 20 more seconds and we release to a sprint. We are back down to a 10 in three, two, one. Sit and sprint. Good, look at those RPMs. Can you get them up to a 100 or higher? 10 more seconds. Keep that pace going. We're taking it up to a 15 in three, two, one. Bring it up. Good. 
20 more seconds and that last minute will be writer's choice as I talk to you about our very first AMRAP. Writer's choice in three, two, one. All right, coming up in our first AMRAP, you have got a run or speed walk or a bounding skip. So a nice big skip outside. You're going to go up that ramp and down to the light and back. I want you to be out of breath. I want you to push that sprint. Even if you're speed walking, you can still be very effective and getting that heart rate up. When you come back in, you've got 10 thrusters, 10 dumbbell step ups. Now that's each leg. So 10 step ups on the right, 10 on the left, and 15 push ups. Then you're back out the door for your next sprint and then coming back in as many rounds as possible. 20 more seconds to finish up this warm up. Set those intentions for class today. You showed up for a reason and it shouldn't be just going through the motions. We're all going to get what we came for and give our best efforts. Slow those legs down, grab yourself a sip of water. All right, and then start to make your way to the door. If you wanna keep your space, that's completely fine. You're going to go outside up the ramp and you're going to go from on the sidewalk to the light and back, and then you are back inside. Hold on, hold on. Everybody make their way outside. I love the enthusiasm. I'm gonna start the timer or you're just gonna keep going. Hey, Barrett, Barrett, will you, uh, are, they, are they going? Oh, they're going, all right, we're on the clock, let's go. All right, so if you are at home, it is some sort of body weight intensive cardio for 60 seconds. Then you've got 10 thrusters, 10 dumbbell step ups, and 15 push ups. Nice work, Fonda. Let's go. It's a sprint. Nice work. Nice work, let's go, 10 thrusters. Nice work, Mason. Nice work, Cam, let's go. You got 10 thrusters waiting for you. Way to go, Jill. Good, good work, Todd, there we go. Awesome job. Quick, quick, quick. Looking good. Right into those 10 thrusters. Look at that. <laughs> 10 thrusters, 10 dumbbell step ups on each leg, and 15 push ups. Who is the first to get back out the door? Still working that good form. Good, so as you move into those step ups, I want you to think about your whole foot coming up onto the bench. So you're driving through your mid foot to heel. Good, pausing at the top, pull that belly button to your spine. Nice, Kim. Maybe keep it right there on the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, press otherwise, you're pressing up overhead. You got it, nice work, Salma. Here we go, Fonda. Let's go, ladies. 
All right, so when you go back out next time, don't go all the way to the light, go to like the third tree and zip it. I like it. Awesome job, let's keep going. Who is the first back out? There we go. Looking good, Mason, knock out those 15 push-ups. 10 thrusters if you just walked in, 10 step-ups on each leg. Pay attention to where that upper body is on those step-ups. We're not hinging over, shoulders stay right above your hips. Your hamstrings and glutes do the work to bring you up. Looking good. You got this, Jennifer. Challenge yourself on your weight selections today. Do not just take the easy route because you don't want to be uncomfortable. Let's get uncomfortable together. All right, back out the door, Jill. Let's go, Kim. Right into that sprint. Kim, go get her. So, Todd, nice work. We'll still keep it air. Go, Shrina. Nice work, Barrett. Let's go, Fonda. Looking good, Olivia. Nice push ups, Angela. Yes. Beautiful, keeping those hips along for the ride. You look it's so strong. Yeah, that form's so good. Nice, Dana. Good, Jesse. Nice thrusters. If you are speed walking, go to the third big tree. Otherwise, you are sprinting to the light. Nope, nope, just step up. Yep, and then 15 push ups. <laughs> yep, and then you're back out. Let's get it, Olivia. Let's go, Fonda. Nice work, Barrett. All right. Let's go, Jennifer. It's a race. It's a race. Let's go. Nice work, Mason. No slowing down at the end. Keep it all the way through. Good. Nice, Kim. Let's go, Todd. Good work, Alexis. Let's go, Kim. Let's go, Sama. Pick up that pace. Right back in. Now make it your goal to get one more round in. Let your body recover as you go through those motions. Your body will adjust and adapt. Nice work, Trina. Right back into those thrusters. Nice one arm thruster, Trina, looking good. Here we go, Alexis. Yes, Angela. Delica. Good, big range of motion, big low squat, drive through those legs. Ten, 10 thrusters, 10 step ups on each leg, and 15 push ups. Way to go, Barrett. There we go, Kim. Right back into those thrusters. Yes, Donna. We got it, Jennifer. You've got time for one more round. So get these exercises in and back out the door one more time. Good, Olivia. Just over four minutes to go.
Good work, Jill. Nice work. Back out for that sprint. Good work, Todd. Let's go, Kim. You got this, Fonda. Big breath. All right, Todd, go catch her. Got this, let's go, push it. Go get Todd. Nice work, team, three and a half minutes to go. Nice, Trina. Good work, Barrett. Yes, Angela. Nice, Olivia. Good balance at the top. Keep that core engaged. Nice work, Mason. There we go, Barry. We got one more. Awesome job, team. Can you get back out the door? There we go. I know. All right, I want you to speed walk. I want it to be uncomfortable. Or jog, look at that. Yes, you can, yes, you can. Let's go, Kim. Plenty of time to finish out this round. Looking good, two minutes, you got this, Thelma. Speed walk, yep. Walk so fast that a conversation is difficult. Let's go, Todd. Let's go, Olivia, yes, beautiful push up right there. Good range of motion, nice, Jennifer. Nice job. All right, can you get those 10 thrusters in? You've got just under 90 seconds. Yes, Trina, I want those 10 thrusters done. Final 60 seconds. Olivia, just run to the orange wall right there and back. Yeah. Good work. Nice, Kim. Final 60 seconds. Finish it out. Fonda, turn around. Final 30 seconds. Work all the way to that finish line. Every rep counts. Final 20 seconds. Can you get some of those thrusters in? How many reps? Let's go, Olivia. Time for two thrusters. Three, two, and recover. Awesome work, awesome work. All right, catch your breath. I think everybody's back in here. Maybe have a buddy check in. Thank you, Jennifer. See, there we go, Fonda. Awesome work. All right, so coming up, we've got our first Tabata. They will be weighted toe reaches. So Kim, can you demonstrate? You're going to lay on your back, reach your toes to the ceiling. Choose a weight or a ball, and you're going to reach that ball up to your toes. Keep your toes up to the ceiling the whole time. Work in those upper abs. Keep that belly button pulled into your spine. The other one is a front plank hip dip. So on your forearms, you're in a front plank and you are just rotating your hips to the right and to the left. 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest for eight total rounds. We are starting with that weighted toe reach. Make your way to the floor, toes to the ceiling and weight goes up in three, two, and hit it. Good, keep those ribs.
hips knitted together, really actively reach. Can you reach that weight up to your toes? Can you touch them? Can you get to your laces? Keep working towards it and recover. All right, flip around for that front plank, hip dip rotation in three, two, and go. Good, if I were to look at you from the front, your shoulders do not move. That upper body stays still, you're just rotating. Like you're wringing out a towel with that torso. Recover. Nice work. Turn back around, find that weight. Even just keeping your toes to the ceiling is a challenge. Three, two, one, bring it up. Good, every time you lift that upper body, that lower body pushes down into the floor. Eight more seconds, keep it going. And recover. Flip around. We got hip dips in three, two, and go. So really connect and think about that twist. Your obliques are doing the work, your belly button is pulled in and you're still squeezing through those glutes. You got this, five more seconds. Keep it going. Recover. All right, past our halfway point, back into that weighted toe reach. This time I want you to reach that weight up and stay up, pulsing it out and go. Lift up and pulse. Don't let your shoulder blades touch the floor. Can you stay up the whole time? Little pulse. We're not holding our breath. Use that breath to help you. In and out. Keep those shoulder blades off the floor for five, three, two, recover. Good work, stretch those abs out and you're back over. Number six of eight, coming up in three, two, one. If you are just holding that plank, I want you to think about the back of your kneecaps reaching to the ceiling. You're squeezing those glutes like you are trying to eat your tights. Good work, recover. All right, this is it. Final round of both exercises. We've got that weighted toe reach coming up in three, two, one. Little lift. Ten more seconds. Nice, Angelica. Three, two, recover. Final hip dip, and we're moving into our next AMRAP. Right now we got hip dips in three, two, and go. Ten more seconds. Keep those shoulders away from your ears. We've got four, hold on to it, three, Two, recover. Good work. All right. <clears throat> so I'm going to explain the next AMRAP. We're going back outside. This time you're just staying on the sidewalk and you're going to go to that orange wall and back. You are going to choose one challenging weight and hold it overhead as you walk your lunges. All right. So you can count them. If you can make 25 down and 25 back, it's 50 total. Big lunges can get you to the wall, but test it out. If you've got shoulder issues and holding it overhead is too challenging or not working for you today, keep it right at chest level and then just walk it down and back. You then have 10 squat jumps when you come back in, 10 deadlifts to high pull and five burpees. I kept those burpees short so you can really knock them out and get back into those walking lunges. <laughs> All right, choose your weight. And you are heading back out. All right, we are on the clock in three, two, and go.
Good range of motion. Good, bend through that back leg, drive through that front. Tina and Jesse alternating lunges. I would go front and back, not just one direction. What's that? Yeah. Looking good. Twenty five out, twenty five back. All right, when you hit this first wall, straighten those arms out. I know, I know it's hard. Believe me, this is one I, I hate, but it's so good. Get those arms straight. Yes, Alexis, there we go, Jill. Nice, Mason. So around the planter is 25 about. All right. For those of you, I can see your faces. I love it. Those are some good looking faces right there. I know, but you know what? Doesn't it feel good? Oh my God. Thank you, Jennifer. Let's go, Olivia. I like your shirt. <laughs> I believe in all those things. Yes, Todd, straighten those arms out for this last little bit. Very good. Good work, Todd. There we go, Angelica. Yes, Barrett. Let's go finish it up. You got it, Salma Kim. Come on, Angela. Looking good. All right, when you are back inside, 10 squat jumps, 10 deadlift the high pull, and five burpees. Uh, does it feel good to have to wear sunglasses for part of your workout? I love it. Quick burpees, quick burpees. There we go, 10 squat jumps, 10 deadlifts to high pull, and five burpees. Three minutes down, nine to go. You are on track for three rounds. That's that goal and crush it. Good, on that deadlift, those hips go back and away. Never lock your legs out, just keep them nice and soft. Good, Todd. Here we go, Mason. Get it, Jennifer. Let's go, Olivia. You got this, Angelica. Nice, Angela. Good jump squat. Good work, Trina. Keep pushing yourself. How quickly can you get those five burpees done? One right after the other. Let's go, let's go. Good, keep that core engaged on those lunges. Woo! Dimsy walking lunges waiting for you. Good work, Jill. Go, Pam, you got this, Sala. Nice work, Fonda.
Almost there. <laughs> Next later. Nice, Mason. Finish it out. Yes, Alexis. I see those straight arms. Fight for it. Let's go, Angelica. Come on, Angela. You got this, Barrett. Good work, Olivia. Come on, Todd. Good work, Jennifer. Nice job, Kim. Good lunges, Salma. Halfway. Are you writing for all of it? Are you okay? Are you okay? Yeah, okay. So I just say do about a quarter mile, 0.25. Yeah, good. We're looking for some height on those jump squats. Awesome work. As you walk back in from those walking lunges, I want you to shake your legs out and move into those squat jumps intentionally. How high can you get your feet off the floor? Drive through those legs that have just been working so hard for you outside. Big squat jumps. Just inside, five minutes. Nice, Mason. You got this, Angelica. Good, Fonda. Nice, Barrett. We got four and a half minutes. Good, I like those squat jumps, nice and high. Power through that lower body. Good work. You've got this, Jennifer. One at a time. Good. Use your breath to help you. Good, Alexis. Knock those burpees out. You're right back outside. Inside two minutes. Let's go, Kim. 
Ready to go, Jill. All right, go Barrett, good work, good work. We got a minute 15. What can you do with that minute and 15? Chip away at those reps, you got this. Nice Fonda. Exploding in those jump squats. Nice burpee, Trina. Final 60 seconds. Yes, Jennifer. Here we go, Olivia. Final 40 seconds. Here we go, our last 20 seconds. If you are working into your burpees right now, you are just going to continue those burpees for the next 15 seconds. That's what Mason wanted to hear. <laughs> yes, Jennifer, keep going on those burpees. We've got six, five, three, and recover. Awesome job. Give yourself a pat on the back and throw a smile or an air five to your neighbors. Awesome job, two down. All right, so our next Tabata are ball slams and Arnold press. So in Arnold press, you are going to Hold your weights right at that 90 degree angle, palms facing in. I can't talk. Core is strong. Open it out, press up, back down, and close in. All right, so you're just really outlining a box with your elbows, and then you've got ball slams. Again, eight rounds, 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, and we are starting with those ball slams. Find your med ball, and we are on the clock in three, two, and go. Um, what I would say is just do a, do a squat and fold it if that feels okay. Three, two, and recover. All right, we got Arnold press. And Kim, if that bothers you, bicep curls for the press. And go, Arnold press. Try to keep those elbows in line with your shoulders and not dropping down. So a beautiful 90 degree outline. You got some chalk on your elbows if you need to outline that box. And recover. All right, back into those ball slams. Follow that ball all the way to the floor in three, two, and go. This is your chance to really let that aggression out, that stress, that tension. Follow that ball to the floor, slam it down. And recover, back into that Arnold press. Was that the appropriate weight? Could you go a little heavier on your Arnold press? Here's our places to add a little more challenge and go. Those last few reps of this 20 seconds of work should be a struggle. If you are coasting through, I want you to pick heavier weights the next time through. You've got five, three, two, and recover. All right, back into those ball slams. In three, two, and go. Can you catch that ball on the bounce? Can you follow it down and catch it as it bounces back up? Yes, nice, Olivia. Some are bouncier than others, I know. Three, two, recover. All right. We've got Arnold Press. You're picking up the 
If you have a heavier weight, pick it up. We're going in three, two, and go. Pull that belly button into your spine, protect your low back. If you feel like it's starting to arch, step one foot in front, give yourself a little stagger step. There we go. Three, two, recover. All right, last round, last round of ball slams. Your slammiest of balls in three, two, and go. You got 10. Three, two, recover. All right, we're into those final Arnold presses. Last 20 seconds in this Tabata in three, two, and go. Three, two, and recover. All right, we're moving into our final AMRAP of the day. So this time you are going to stay inside. You've got a quarter mile bike ride or a row. If you really want to get another sprint, you are welcome to go outside. Otherwise, you're going to use that cardio for a quarter mile. Then uh, you've got 10 squat curl press. You're holding your weight, squat down, curl and press up. Plank pull through. You've got a push up to add and I wrote 10 in there. So you're going to count your push ups. So you will come into that plank position and it is always a pull. So you wanna reach underneath you, pull that weight to the other side, push up and then come back. This can be done from your knees as well. So you just keep that weight crossing over your belly button, push up every time, all right? So a lot of times I say this and then I see people pick it up from the outside and push it over. No, no, we wanna pull inside across our body to the other side. All right, and then finishing with 15 kettlebell swings. So make sure you've got your kettlebell ready, your station set up, and make your way to that piece of cardio equipment. There are skiers optional as well. Whatever you choose to do for 0.25 miles, we are on the clock in three, two, one. Final AMRAP, let's go. So on the, on the plank pull through, count the push up, not the pull. Thanks, Mason. How quickly can you get that quarter mile done? It's all a sprint. Right into 10 squat curl press. Good, Barrett. So tall, I'll finish it out, Kim. Quick leg, Todd. Let's go, Fonda. You got this, Jennifer. Looking good, Kim and Jill. There we go, Olivia. Let's go, Sharina. Nice work, Alexis. Yes, Angela. Right, so next time when you start, push this button and it'll start with the distance. I want you to bring your hands wider so you're going to hold the edge you're going to relax your shoulders okay so it goes it it goes legs core arms arms core legs so you're going to straighten your legs before you pull your yep so then pull now on your way back straighten the arms out pinch forward and then bend your legs yes there we go beautiful so really push through those heels try to keep Next time, put the strap in because you want your feet to stay down so you can really get a grip and drive into your leg. It's almost like when you come up from a deadlift. It's really powerful. Good work. Counting the push-up on the pull-through. Keep that weight crossing over your belly, not your chest. We tend to bring that weight up really high, so make sure it's crossing over your belly button and not your chest line on that pull-through. You'll feel it more in your core. You'll keep your correct form and your arms won't go out in front of you, getting away from you. Wrists should be right under your shoulders. 
So check in with yourself if you're in that plank pull through. Fifteen kettlebell swings after the pull throughs. There we go, Olivia. Yes. Ten pull plank pull through with push ups, and then fifteen kettlebell swings. Awesome work. Good. Those hips are what caused that kettlebell to drive forward. Squeeze those glutes. Nice work, back up for another quarter mile, as quickly as you can get it. So, here, let's just do this. Sometimes it takes a second. All right, so put it back on and then, all right, so start pedaling. Yep, so when you see that, then you're, yeah. No, you want that to say 0.25. Nice work, Jill. Double time. How quickly can you get that quarter mile? Are you at a sprint right now? Is this your sprint? Let's go, let's go. Good work, Olivia. Cover that distance at as little time as possible. So, Selma, big drive through those legs. Nice, Barrett. Seven more minutes. Four minutes? No, right, right for 60 seconds. Four minutes, it's a quarter mile. It's not a Sunday lollygag. Pick up that pace. Nice work, Sama. There we go, Kim. Way to go, Barrett. Let's go, Fonda. Nice feel. Good form on that pull through. Don't let that butt start to come up. Good, Todd. This is a way to start a Sunday. Awesome job. He's cheering each other on. You've got five minutes. Continue to push your limits here. Even though you're tired, we don't just go through the motions. Take that second win 
Always finding that edge of your challenge zone. Is it a heavier weight? Is it slowing something down for tempo? Is it picking up that pace on your bike sprint? Maybe you go from the push up from your knees to your toes. It's you against you. Nice, Jennifer. Four minutes to go. Nice work, Dana, looking good. Good boxing in the back. Oh, <laughs> that feels so good. Here we go, Olivia. We got three minutes. As you start that next round, if you want to take it from a sprint to a hill climb, take that option. Good work, good form. Use that mirror if you got it, it is a tool. Good, if you press those weights overhead, where are your abs? Pull those abs in, keep that core strong. It helps support all of those limbs. Inside of two. God, pull that weight down a little bit lower so you have to cross over your yeah so cross uh, over think about crossing over your stomach as opposed to your uh, chest the other way around. no okay. no you're pulling correctly but keep it low and yeah. then it's more in your core Thank you. Good, keep that weight crossing over your belly, not your chest. There we go. Oh, oh, so remember it's a pull through, not a cross over, yeah. So you're always gonna pull that, like that, yep, yep, yeah. Nice, Trina, we've got one final minute. Your best 60 seconds right here. Trying to finish out that exercise you're working on, get to the next. We got 40 seconds. Final 30. Good work. Finish out those kettlebell swings. Good, Angela. Push that. Kettlebell with your hips. We got 15. Three, two, and recover. Well done, team. We've got one final Tabata for you. Russian twist. So you're going to hold a weight and then the sit up with the med ball. Here's my idea. So try it out. You're going to hold your weight 
your med ball. Come up into that sit up. Stick it right between your legs and squeeze it back into a sit up. Pick it up. So you're just alternating. So you get the low abs as you squeeze that ball between your legs. All right. Plus the coordination and the mental part is just a little killer when you're tired and don't want to think. All right. So we're going to start with the Russian twists. You find your way to your mat, grab your ball or weight, and we are on the clock in three, two, and go. Proud chest, keep that collarbone wide. Pull that belly button in. Three, two, recover. All right. So you're going to start with that ball overhead, tuck it into your knees, and then go down into a sit up and back up and go. Pick it up and then take it back out. So it's just a little pass through. One sit up, you hold the ball. One sit up, your legs hold the ball. We got four chances to get it right. Three, two, recover. Awesome job. All right, back into those Russian twists. In three, two, and go. Number three of eight, and then the rest of the day is yours. 10 more seconds. Three, two, one. Very good. Back into that pass through. In three, two, and go. It can be between your knees or your thighs. Just give it a good squeeze. Engage those lower abs. Three, two, recover. All right, back to those Russian twists. As you set yourself up, hinge back, open up those shoulders and pull that belly in. Proud chest and go. Every time you rotate, it is like a wet towel that you are wringing out. So connect that mind and body right here. It doesn't have to be low to be effective. Three, two, recover. All right, on this next one, I want you to just put the ball between your legs and squeeze it and go into sit up. So you're just going to hold the ball between those legs and squeeze it like you don't want to let it go. And go. Get those inner thighs involved. They're always feeling left out. Five. <laughs> Recover. Good work. We got, <laughs> hello inner thighs, hello. All right, we got Russian twist one final time. Let's go in three, two, one. Only 40 seconds of work total left for you. So everything you've got, let's leave it on the floor. Three, two, one. All right, this is it. Our last 20 seconds, you can hold it between your legs if you want it or go right back to that pass through. Your choice in three, two, go. Last 20 seconds of work. You guys have all worked so hard. Be so proud of yourself. Your by zones are not reflecting because you are outside so much. Don't worry. Five more seconds. Keep it going. Recover. Nice work. That is time. All right, if you want to stay and get a little bit more of that core work, you are welcome to. Otherwise, please wipe down everything that you touched. Put it back where you found it. Oh. <laughs> Dana, great job. Nice job, Jesse. Thank you. That was great. Oh, good. Have a great day. I'm sorry you couldn't go outside. That's okay. Still I, I still got all the lunges in. Don't worry. <laughs> 
Okay, good. Well, then I will see you uh, another day this week. For sure. Have a good one. All right. Bye, you guys. Happy Sunday. Bye. Thank you.